Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 21 career mode here today on the channel. We're back with episode 5 of my Bayern Munich career series. We're playing on Fiverr's Realism mod, of course. First up here today, we have a match against Rosenball Leipzig. We're six points clear of Dortmund in second, and Leipzig are chasing in third. Joshua Kimmich, 95 rated now. It's actually crazy. Unfortunately, he's got a red card. Serge Gnagbury is now out as well. We hopefully have some Champions League football after beating Spurs. 4-1 in the last episode. So, if you're enjoying this Bayern Minute career series and want to support myself and the channel, the best thing you guys can do is like, leave a sub if you haven't already, let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series, for what you'd like me to replace this series with, and feel free to leave a dislike, of course. Let's get stuck into Leipzig. Now, Leipzig have been the boogeyman <laughs> of this series. They have been now. I don't know, Bubba Yeager. They've been our John Wick of the series, let's say. We've beaten them convincingly at the start in a cup final, but we've lost against them earlier on in the season. We faced them for the second time at home. We lost 2-0 away under a cracking performance with them. But hang on, Sane's got some space here, but they've closed me down. Leroy Sane nearly denied... That cracking curl of there. Just wide. Oh, gutted on the touchline. I can see myself. <laughs> Toluso. Good interception coming in for Joshua Kimmich. It's, Dan it's Danny. Almo. Danny puts it on a plate for Goretzka. 1-0. Bayern Munich go in front just before the 14th minute there. It's the former Schalke man, Goretzka, to make it 1-0 against Leipzig. We desperately needed a, the first goal. Scoring his 15th of the season. Crikey. He has been on magnificent form for Munich. Good stuff. 1-0. Awobi recently signing from Everton to join Leipzig. The Sabitz are still at the club. Arnautovic came back from China. He's been playing really well for them this season. Sanchez trying to find Arnautovic, the former West Ham man, the Austrian international. The number nine makes it 1-1. One, one. Oh, my God. They've, they are just so incredibly intelligent with their signings. Bringing in Arnautovic, a career mode sweat, a woebe creating of the wings. Ah, oh, 16 goals this season. Crikey. Taliso. Davies joining the attack. Danny Almo looking for support. Robin Le Lewandowski turns. McKeely, the left back, is playing centrally here. Leipzig are a little bit exposed at the back because Holstenberg uh, left to join Inter Milan in the first window. But Danny Olmo, the dude is insane. He, he, he's been my favorite in this series so far. He's been playing far better than the new signing to Stegen. Paulson. Arnautovic, nice one-two pass. Sanchez looking for the Austrian. David Alaba. You've got to be doing better than that. They're still not down and out for lot. Leipzig! Oh, good shot there. Good save. The red ball is juicing through their veins. Hopefully, they're going to crash here with a goal from Kingsley Coman. Good save. Danny! Oh, that's terrible. You should have smashed that. In the second half now. Paulson. Awobi. Back on the inside to Arnautovic for the 17th. Come on, guys. We're in front. 2-2. Two, two. Leipzig lost by only a handful of points last season. And they're still continuing on with their good form. Right, we need to make some subs. We'll bring on Pavard for Desht. Um, maybe bring on Joe Gomez, actually. <laughs> Especially play, like, play a lopsided three centre-backs there, I think. Campbell, Sanchez. We just can't contend with the power of Alna. Alnautovic, no! 
Nine! Nine, 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 nine! <laughs> and Nelsovich, three, two. The dude scored a hat trick. I don't even know what to say. Former West Ham man, inconsistent number nine, as they usually are at West Ham, has come back from his stint in China and he's tearing up the Bundesliga. Oh, is there about to be another one here? Paulson. Oh my god, it could have been 4 2. I th don't think we've got enough time. Oh, the ref is letting me play on. Hang on. Muller. Robert Lewandowski. He should have called it there. It's gone over the minute. Back heel to Thomas Muller. Ho oh, ho! Never fear. Thomas Muller is here. Ho! Oh, the Kaiser makes it 3 3. The King of Munich absolutely bends it in the dying embers of the match. Smashes it past a really good goalkeeper as well. Golasic, I think his name is, the Hungarian. Great stuff there by Thomas Muller. Keeps his momentum forward, and I'm just absolutely ecstatic on the touchline. We could have had two defeats against Leipzig this season. Scoring his sixth, Thomas Muller, 30 plus years of age, has still got it. Oh, good. That, though, sharing those points was well deserved. I feel bad for Marco. He was tearing up. He had a really, really good match, scoring a hat trick. But the Bavarians claim victory for now. 3 3. Let's go. Okay, so in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, we've been drawn against Marseille. That's a really, really easy draw, and I have no interest in playing it. Oh, they knocked out Juventus, 4-3. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to simulate this one. We're going to beat Marseille. Sometimes you have these weird fixtures. You just get the weakest team. Like, we're buying Munich. We're going to blow away Marseille. I have no qualms in simulating this one. 2-1, 1-0 over Wolfsburg. 1-0. So 3-1, and yep, we get drawn against Real Madrid. That's what I'd rather play and be more interested in. But a tough opposition now. Okay, we have Schalke in the Bundesliga. Huge rivalry. They could potentially be getting relegated. We're four points clear of Dortmund now. They're still in the title race, but after the win against Leipzig, maybe not for them. Schalke trying to avoid the drop and the playoffs. Robert Lewandowski is our top goal scorer. We've got Freiburg, Hoffenheim, Nuremberg, and Augsburg. Uh, we still need to play as well. All right. Well, let's get stuck into Schalke with Schuller now back. And Joshua Kimmich as well. Yeah, Maybe we would have played better against Leipzig if we had our full first team. But let's get stuck into Schalke. Weston McKenney, the man in the midfield, the central defensive midfielder holding them together, isn't having the best of seasons. It's kind of unlucky to see how far his career has fallen. From not playing much at Juventus, well he's still pretty young, but where he is in real life, that's what I'm sort of comparing to. He's on good form at the time of recording. Schalke hold the attack. Ball out. Win that. Schuller already on a yellow. Joshua Kimmich back into the side. Robert Lewandowski nice one to pass. Schuller going really far forward there. Couldn't quite find Robert. Man, that first half was so boring. They're just trying to save the points. Five at the back, Schalke. Danny Almo. That's a pen, but whatever. There we go. Ah, oh, unlucky. Very few chances we've had in this match. Incredibly limited. Good tackle there. Oshula still on a yellow. Dest going forward. Goretzka, Danny Almo. Robert Lewandowski just trying to build up some nice, intricate passing. There we go. Danny. 
In some space. Cops it on the chest. That's a foul! Mascarella. 70th minute now. Was he former Villarreal? Maybe even Madrid as well at one point. I forgot about Mascarella. My God. Good ball from Weston McKenney. And a good tackle. He sort of ham-fisted that at the end of it. Okay. Nil-nil. Away at Schalke. We need the points to secure our Bundesliga claim and, and not even just worry about it. We need to focus on the Champions League where the real challenge is. Slow day at the office. Komen. Kabak. All with the header. The former, well, he's current Liverpool man. I guess they haven't updated his transfer from January. Bayern. On the counter-attack, Joshua Kimmich, Muller, scoring the equaliser in the last match. He's on good form. Great ball in. Uh, if that was Robert Lewandowski, he might have got to it. Lucas Hernandez going forward. Yeah, Tio plays for Atletico. I sometimes get confused which one's which. Tio is more of a left-back in my opinion. Lucas can play centre-back more. He's the better centre-back over the two. Sane, against his former side, whips it into the box. Good clearance there by the goalkeeper. Alfonso Davies, good flick on to Muller. There we go, Joshua Kimmich. Mmm. Lam would have buried that. Schalke. On the attack. Uth, I think his name is. Mascarella. Oh, Burns saw. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't believe that. That's such bad RNG. Schalke in literally the last minute of the match. We deserved to at least get some points from that match. They defend for 85 minutes, and it's a terrible defensive error. By Shula. How's he not marked him? I guess he's on a yellow, but you nearly take the pen and the red off that. To Stegen, that's terrible. And he's got Omar Mascarella has not scored a single goal this season. And he goes and does that. Oh my god. I'm just furious because we're losing so many points in this Bundesliga campaign. It's so much harder from what I found compared to... The Italian League last season. My God, we've lost to Schalke. They're probably going to get relegated. I guess you have these blips in form sometimes. They were shameful. Okay, so let's get stuck into Madrid where we need to focus on. And we got knocked out of the cup. <laughs> against Dusseldorf. 3-1 against Freiburg, though. Uh, I don't even know what to say about that. All right. Let's get stuck into the semi-finals. Ah, oh, Atletico versus Man City. Oh, it could be Atletico again in the final. That'd be so unlucky for them. So we only lead by a point in the Bundesliga now. It's between us and Dortmund. Leipzig have fallen off. Hertha are doing really well in fourth. And Hoffenheim and Dusseldorf are in the Pokal. So we got knocked out of that. We can't technically do the treble this season. It's off. We did win the Super Cup and our friendly. The UEFA Super Cup, Juventus and Ajax won. But it looks like, I say it's going to be interesting, um, potentially for Atletico, because we face them in the Juventus career. So, unfortunately, as you can see here, Robert Lewandowski's out. So, that's a huge miss for this Champions League fixture. And also, we've got an injury. So, we're going to be bringing on Alario, the former Bayer Leverkusen man. Bit of an underrated cult legend of this series. The dude scored 23 Bundesliga goals and with that type of output I just had to put in a, an offer for him for £10 million and he's done well. Unfortunately, Hernandez is out. He's been so inconsistent. My back line is exhausted so I guess we're going to have to play Gomez and Alaba for now. Okay, let's get stuck into Real Madrid with this Mix match of a front line. Uh, this is probably the best team on career mode that we could have been drawn against. Real Madrid playing in their new fantasy kit. I don't know if I like it. A little bit of pink there. Maybe. 
Let's get stuck into the Galacticos. It's always going to be tough facing a side like Real Madrid with such Champions League pedigree. Tony Kroos are facing his former side. I'm sort of gutted from the perspective of this Bayern Munich career series, not having someone like Tony Kroos in the midfield. Mine got. <laughs> Essentially, from what I can remember, the, sto the story with Tony Kroos, like, he wanted to stay, but he also wanted a certain amount of money, and Bayern at the time were like, no, we're not going to pay those wages. We'd rather see you go. And he was like, oh, I guess, okay. And Real Madrid gave him a huge payday, and he's stayed there for so long. Such a good player. I love Tony Kroos. Casemiro, Valverde, Benzema, Rodrigo, Hazard. A crazy team. Let's get stuck into some Champions League football. Goretzka. The Germans go forward. Alario. Goretzka. Casemiro over the top. Finds Eden Hazard on the head. Hits it first time as well. <sighs> Eden Hazard, the Belgium, 1-0. The former Chelsea man. Oh. Really good creative goal there. Great strike by Eden. Nearly punches Alario in the head though. Get out of here. Nine goals. Valverde. The dude's like a DM. How's he skilling us like that? Valverde. Gomez just getting absolutely murked. Benzema, Casemiro, the Galactico surging forward with skill. Oh, they're just absolutely beating us. This is shameful. Put in a tackle. I don't know. How can you allow Benzema? I'm trying to contain and defend here, man. Oh, my God. We can't even get it out. We've got the away fixture. The pressure's off us. We just need to score as many away goals as we can. There we go. Good stuff. Let's go. Let's counter-attack. Let's go, 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 go. Danny. Olmo. Waiting for fellow support. There's some runners. Alario. 1-1. One, one. Just before the 33rd. Good stuff. <laughs> Alario starts off the scoring. The former by Leverkusen man. Would have Robert Lewandowski clutched that. Maybe not. <laughs> to be fair, we're missing two key defenders and a striker. The spine has been ripped out of this team. But Alario has made it 1-1 to score his second Champions League goal. Sane. Had a really good performance for Man City against Madrid a fair few years ago in the Champions League, from what I can remember. Come on. Don't do anything too rash. That could have been better. I meant in passing. 1-1. One, one. Still gameable this match. Danny Almo. Alario. Oh, for the second. And it's an unlikely goal scorer, Alario, who's come in. The second striker at the club. Look, he's got pedigree for scoring Bundesliga goals, but in the Champions League, I didn't expect him to score a brace at Madrid. Come on! The dude doesn't have the best stamina. Or the best pace. But his positioning and striking is nearly second to none on Robert Lewandowski. I really do love when a, a signing and a plan comes together. He, he like, There must have been a reason why he scored. Like a, not that, but... <laughs> not he's maybe passing. But there must have been a reason that Ilario scored 23 goals last season on the Realism mod. I do recommend checking the league's top goal scorers. Valverde Hazard. Hmm... I just feel like sometimes when you, when they get into the box, like regardless of who's in goal, they can't save it. That was near post OP, but did you see how much power that had? Like, it's just insane. Look at this. Boom. It's an absolute rocket. No one hits the ball that hard, particularly Eden Hazard in real life. 
Okay. We need to make some substitutions. I feel like this match is going pretty well under the circumstances. Gomez and Alba actually make a good partnership at the back. One right, four to one left. Rodrigo denied there, though. Another corner kick. Odegaard back from his really good loan at Arsenal. He's probably played more this season. Oh, here we go. Of course. Ball in. Rodrigo. Oh, overhit it. 2-2. Two, two. We've got two away goals at the Santiago Bernabeu. It'd be kind of cool if you could play at Madrid's <laughs> makeshift stadium that looks like a training ground nowadays. Ball in, though, for Goretzka. Over the bar. Look, it won't be too dire if we draw against Madrid here today because we've got two away goals. We just need to not concede another. Here we go. Danny looking to find Thomas Muller. He's on side. Can he do it? No. Couldn't beat Courtois. We should be 3-2 up here. Thomas Muller should have clutched that. That's an unlikely miss from him. And that's it. The full-time whistle is blown. Away against the Galacticos. Bayern Munich. Hold out for a 2-2 draw. Very, very close that match. Well, stay tuned for episode 6 coming out soon. Where we play the second leg in the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League. The Bundesliga is still all to play for. I am willing to sacrifice it, however, for the Champions League. But we'll just have to see. Anyway, I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use credit code SimpsyTotalWar on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.